I'm Mike Smith with RAS Systems and today I'm going to show you how to correct your backstop dimension should you find it off in the program. And to do that I'm going to have to access the control and the parameters. So you find that uh, in a program your parts are off in dimension. Um, could be an eighth, could be a quarter, something of that nature. Um, and we have to correct the backstop dimension. To do that, I'm going to exit the program screen by pressing the main menu key. And I'm going to enter the step operation, or F4, in this case with the system 4000. With a 5000, it'd be F6. But F4, I'm first going to go to the upper beam and use the F3 key to raise the beam up approximately two inches, just so I can see the fingers good. So that's high enough. Now that I've got the beam up, I'm going to move the cursor up to the mark number for the backstop. And I'm going to set my dimension for 2 inches. I have a speed set at 30%, which is nice and slow. It won't hit anything if it's wrong. And I'm going to select F1, the hold position button. This causes the backstops to maintain their position once they reach that 2 destination. And press start. The fingers are driving forward and I'm going to verify that dimension. So I'm measuring from the finger to the bending line and I see that I'm about two and an eighth approximately. Now I have to press stop so I can exit this screen. I'm going to press the three buttons now for the parameters, the JP, the enter and the double square, all three together. Enter the parameter screen. Move using the F1 or F2 button to the backstop page. And look at the top left number, which is the calibrate dimension. This number right now is set at 551. And because I measured large, I measured more than two inches, I'm going to increase this number. If I would have measured smaller, for example, one in seven eighths, I would make that number smaller by an equal number of millimeters because this number is in millimeters. So since I'm approximately three millimeters off or an eighth of an inch, I'm going to try to change this number to five, five, oops, five, five, four. That's the three millimeter increase, which should change my backstop position. So once that's changed, I'm going to press this main menu or double square key and it takes me back to the step screen. And at the top of the screen, you can see that the backstop actual now says 2.177. Not quite an eighth, but I'm going to try that with a measurement to see. Hold pause is still selected and I'm going to press start. And the finger slightly moved and I'm going to check the measurement once more. and I'm measuring two inches on the money. So by changing the di calibrate dimension by three millimeters, I increased or changed the backstop position. So if you find that your dimension is off, either short or small, the main thing to remember for changing the calibrate dimension is if you measure big, you make the number bigger. If you measure small, you make it smaller by an equal number of millimeters. Just as a rule of thumb, I like to use 1.5 millimeters for a sixteenth and three millimeters for an eighth. And once you have those numbers changed and your dimension is correct, they should maintain. And that's how you change the backstop dimensions on a turbo bin.